Hey guys, today I want to talk about this bug assault rifle. Um, it's actually pretty fun. It seems kind of um, silly maybe, but if you actually try it, it, it actually is a lot of fun and it actually does kill a lot of flies. So um, I got this for everybody at Christmas and I've been having a blast with it. This one is mine and I got this one for Andy. So the there's several different models that you can choose from they also have a lawn and garden model um they have one i think the lawn one is uh one that can uh kill bigger things like cockroaches um th this is their 2.0 camo version and of course i had to get one that's a different color than andy's otherwise you know we'd be fighting over the guns um but it's really simple. All it is is a gun that will shoot salt and kill flies. All right, um, that's essentially it. You have this part here. <clears throat> this is the reservoir for the salt. And when you cock it, this is going to pop up. And then your trigger to shoot. And when you shoot, this will go, oh, your safety has to go down, and then um, this will go back down. So if you ever forget if you've cocked it or not, just look for this little thing. If this is up, then you've cocked it. It's up. That means you've cocked it. Do the safety, and then shoot. Um, if, you, if you just feather this, if you just feather the trigger, so you do the safety, and you kind of just feather it, then sometimes this will reset, but it never actually shot. You see, it, it's still cocked. So um, you got to make sure that you actually squeeze the, the trigger all the way. Every time you cock it, you have to do, you have to do the, tr the safety again. Uh, I've heard some people say that it might be a little bit hard to to cock it if it is hard for you to cock it so so like a guy how a guy would cock it is just you know pull it back keep this hand steady and just pull this back right um if that is hard for you to do you're like ah like that then um what i do is i use both hands so i use this hand to push and this hand to pull at the same time so it looks more like this and then it's a lot easier. I get a little momentum going, you know, I'm pushing down. So I'm pushing down and then I'm pulling back up like this. And then that might be a little bit easier. Um, and then you start getting into the habit that every time you do that, then you go ahead and push this and then you aim. When you aim, I, I, you can do different things. Andy doesn't aim, I actually aim. So when I aim, I actually line up, uh, you have the sights over here so you have this black sight and then you have this sight that pops up once you're cocked right you line up these two sights and then and then you shoot now i close and i close one of my eyes and um they have this thing about how to find out which eye is your dominant eye and and then you use if you're going to close the eye you have to close the non-dominant eye or something like that they have this whole thing i found that both eye works no matter which eye that i i close um they, they all work so you just you know play around with it um you can go all gangster style <laughs> if you want and stuff but so what i found i like to do is cock it push uh do the the safety and then get my finger on the trigger line it up and sometimes i'll even lean i'll lean into it and the leaning is good because i'll get everything lined up and then i'll lean a little bit closer and then i'll shoot um in in order to to get as close as possible to to the fly but like you know i'm i'm ready my fingers on the trigger and i'm ready after i shoot i always take my finger off the trigger again and then so when i'm cocking stuff i'm cocking with my finger over here and then do the safety once i'm all lined up and stuff my finger goes onto the trigger and then i shoot um so that's how i do it of course you can do it however way you want and stuff but it's a ton of fun when this runs out of ammo i'm low on salt right now 
just use regular table salt. Uh, do not use sand. They say absolutely do not use sand. And I don't think that there's a max limit. I always just fill this all the way up. When it starts getting low, then you might notice that sometimes it might not fill with sand all the way and then you're just shooting air. I believe that this is something like a spring, maybe like a plunger and a spring sort of thing. So if you have it cocked and then you try to do it again, you'll feel that there is no tension on here because it's already cocked. That makes me think that it's it's some kind of spring in there. You cock it, it locks the spring in, um, you do your safety and then you shoot. And then when you shoot, then it actually, um, you know, you can feel it, it's strong. And it does shoot quite a bit of uh, of salt now let me see. I don't know if you could see that now I say that it shoots quite a bit of salt um, but that's in relation to the fly uh, it shoots enough salt to where it will kill a fly it will cut a fly in half if the angle is just right um, it's not a lot of salt for us it's probably like a pinch of salt so if you take a pinch of salt and throw it um, when you have this completely filled, it'll you'll get about 50 to 80 shots. I, I've heard, I've heard those numbers. I've heard 50 shots. I've heard 80 shots. So you know, somewhere around there, it is quite a lot. You can go around shooting a lot. But I will tell you that um, shooting around Lasser's pan, um, I've done it where I've refilled this two, three times. That's how much I'm shooting. But that's how many flies I'm killing. So. Well, uh, why is this good is because, well, I have a ton of different uh, fly things. You know, I have tons of different fly bags. I have my DIY fly traps. I have the sticky tape traps and stuff like that. But the problem is they only, they only get so many flies. And then you'll see you'll have all this stuff up, but you still have flies just like, you know, laying around, um, not eating, not wanting to go to the sticky tape and stuff like that. So then I have my fly swatter and I'm, you know, going around killing flies with my fly swatter, but then there's only, you know, certain places that you can hit with the fly swatter. This one, there's almost no limit. You get about three feet. Um, I'd say maybe maximum is three feet somewhere. Optimum seems to be about two feet, but you know, I can get stuff on the ceiling. I can get stuff that is right on the edge. Um, if they're on a leaf of a plant, I can't usually hit that with a fly swatter, but I can I can kill them with this uh, and, and stuff like that. So, so that's why it's really handy because you can get into all these small little crevices that you couldn't get with a fly swatter or anything else. Uh, this is the only thing it's also cool because it kind of taps into my you know inner hunter I suppose and it's just fun I mean you just get into it you can, you can walk around I'll walk around um, with holding it like this I've, I've done it where I put my fingers here and just walk around like this I can walk around like this but this feels kind of funny and <clears throat> and then you go and then you shoot um, it, it does have a good range and it does pick out a lot of flies. Now sometimes you know, I'm at a wrong angle or I didn't hit them dead on or something like that and then I just injure the fly. But then the fly will still fall down and then I can shoot it or step on it or whatever. So um, and then I think even if the flies get injured and stuff then the ants and the, and the spiders can go get them. Now <clears throat> does this mean that I now have a lot of dead flies all around the floor? Um, Yes, it does, but uh, usually the next day they're all gone. I guess the ants and the spiders and the lizards, they eat the flies, they all come and then they clean up, so it's really cool. Uh, you may have a problem if you're in a really humid area and the salt gets clumpy, uh, then it could clog it up and they do have a thing telling you how to clear out the clogs. So um, they, 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 the company has a lot of videos and stuff showing how to use this, so, so um, that's really helpful. But um, anyways, I think that's about it. I'll probably think of a whole bunch of different stuff. Does it work? Yes, absolutely. Is it a lot of fun? Yes, absolutely. I don't know if I'm weird, but it is a ton of fun. And it does kill a ton of flies. We come out here and we start killing flies and it gets to a point where we're sad because there's no more flies to kill. And that's an awesome problem to have, you know, um, with Lasser because now he is way more fly free than, than ever. And it's just, it gets a lot of the flies that the other fly methods don't get so um, 
I don't know what more I can say about it other than I totally recommend it. It's a lot of fun and I think it's I think it's cool and stuff and it's it's something different that you can do. Plus if you're into spending, you know, those quiet times out with your horse, um, this is it because you're out there meandering around, you know, not demanding anything of the horse, but um, you you are spending time with them. Lacer will follow me around and stuff. And sometimes, oh, the other thing that I can do with it is sometimes a lot of the flies stay on Lacer and they won't leave him. Uh, what I can do is I can actually line up the gun on on his body, but where it's not going to shoot him, but line it up to to where the fly is and then oh, get the safety and then I can just shoot it right off of him and you can see you know it might graze me a little bit but it's not gonna hurt or anything I'm shooting the fly off now the other thing um, as far as uh, strategy goes the the best way is is direct you know if you're directly shooting perpendicular to the fly um, like this right so you shoot directly then what happens is this force is going to shoot out smash that fly into into the thing um into the wall or whatever and it's going to squish them uh, oh that's the other thing with a fly swatter you always get a squishy mess everywhere this doesn't usually squish them unless you're super close and you're able to get dead on 90 degrees um mostly it just hits them and then they fall off and then they they, they're just dead or whatever but you can go at different angles so then you you have to watch because um, let me see so if you are how is the best to show you this if you're going at 90 degrees and, and hitting them then they're going to hit that that wall and and you know die and you have the most chances of getting a squish if you do that if you're shooting this way and shooting or actually say that um, it's a board and the fly is sitting on top and you're shooting this way then you'll see the fly just get pushed off there now the fly may be injured but it may not be dead because it didn't actually have an impact uh, against something else I've had it where I'm I'm the wall is over here the fly is over here and then I have to shoot it at an angle and then it shoots off but if there's another piece of board on the other side it'll actually hit the fly smash it into the other board on this side and still you know smash them depending on how close the 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 hard thing is and stuff so sometimes you know you'll see them lop off and then sometimes when I shoot up on the ceiling then you'll see them fall down and stuff like that now something else to be careful of if, you, if you're gonna shoot close and you're shooting directly into a wall then um, the rebound of the salt could get into your eyes it's not a big deal if it happens it, it happened to me lots when i was doing this it's not too big a deal you just keep blinking um and you know make yourself tear up a little bit and it'll it, it'll dilute the the salt and not be you know too big a deal but do be wary of that you want to you want to be uh pay attention to to the rebound effect of of the salt so oftentimes um, if i'm worried about that then i'll try to make sure that i'm not shooting dead on into a wall that i'm aiming more at an angle so if i shoot this way hit this way the spray is going to go that way and <clears throat> I'm in the middle of doing this video and all of a sudden it starts raining. Um, now the spray is, is also, uh, you, you got to be mindful of the spray. Basically, the closer you are, the closer you are to the nozzle, it's going to be concentrated and, and real tight, a real tight circle. The further away you are, it's going to cone out, right? All the salt is going to cone out. Well, um, it actually goes for quite a distance it's just that anything beyond three feet that cone is uh, you know loses uh, the force uh, needed to really hurt a fly so <clears throat> but pay attention because if I see a whole bunch of flies around and and you know if I want to start picking them off then it becomes a game of like um, uh, of uh, pickup sticks you want to be able to pick off the flies and be wary of where the spray is going to go that's not going to disturb the other flies so that you can still pick them off otherwise obviously if i if, if you think of bowling right you have um all, all of your pins over there if you if you hit the one in the middle and then the spray goes out all of the other ones are going to fly off and and you know 
then you'll have to hunt them down again. But if you pick off the ones on the outer edges first where the spray isn't going to get them, then all the other flies are going to stay there and you can just keep picking them off one by one. And then it's really cool too because if they're all lined up on the fence, you go, you pick them all off, pop, 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 and then um, you walk around, you know, look for more flies. When you come back, they've lined themselves back up again, well, new ones, and then you got, you got more targets. All right, anyways, it's starting to rain hard here, so I gotta get out of here. But I um, hope uh, this helps and, you know, try it out. It's actually really cool. All right, thanks, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.